Welcome into the Citrus TV Studios No Pulp Webisode Time. Caleb Nice and Austin Barrick with you as we conclude a great September of college football. Austin, September can really be a telling month. Definitely a month where we learn a lot about teams. Georgia had a game that was a little close for yeah. comfort this weekend against Auburn. They narrowly escaped 27 to 20. What did you learn about the Bulldogs in this one? Caleb, I learned that they aren't as good as we hoped that they would be. This is a team that won back-to-back -back national championships. So, of course, it makes sense that they won't be as good this year. That's just natural regression right there. But I look at this team, their offense is too reliant on Brock Bowers. He's a monster tight end. He plays every single down like it's his last down. But look, Auburn's feisty. You got to give them a little bit of credit. They lost the previous week. This is a good spot for them at home. I just don't think that this Georgia team will get tested enough until the postseason. Yeah, this Georgia run defense was rough. There's your dog pun, bro, dog rough. pun, rough, rough. That was the Georgia defense. Auburn, they came with a good scheme, a run-heavy offensive scheme, after UGA has really struggled against the run at times this season, especially against UT Martin. Auburn picked up 219 rushing yards. That's Austin, bad. that's the first time the dogs surrendered over 200 rushing yards since 2018. It's not gonna get any easier next week. Georgia plays host to unbeaten Kentucky. They ran the ball really well this weekend. If Georgia can't slow down heavy runs, they're going to really struggle and play with fire for the rest of the season. You're right. I mean, the fact that Auburn was able to run right at their defensive line, like right at the A-gap time and time again, you're right. That's really concerning. But what I do like about this Georgia team is the resolve. Down 10 nothing. they don't quit. Young quarterback, on the road, hostile atmosphere, one of the best atmospheres in all of college football. They come down, and they tie it up, and they take the lead. It's a team that has no quit. Championship DNA, might I add. So at the end of the day, Georgia is fine, but I still think they're probably going to get pumped when it comes time to a big-time game. Yeah, I mean, you're reigning national champs for a reason. Back-to-back -back national champs, you're going to be able to figure it out in the big game. Be sure to tune in to the full show for Austin Barrick and Caleb Nice saying so long and thanks for tuning in for this No Pulp webisode. Be sure to tune in for that full show.